Hey, last episode on UIC show, we whittled down our candy bracket from 32 to 16, <laughs> 16 to 8, and today we're going to number one. We're going to figure out the... <laughs> we didn't do 32. <laughs> we're high. That just we're threw me off. 32. His 32. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Yeah, yeah, okay. One more time. Just roll with it. However it goes, just roll with it. Hey, last time on the UIC show on our last episode, we went down from our candy bracket from 16 down to 8. Now we're going from 8 to number 1. Chris. We're going to find the objectively best candy out there. Right next. We Check are. that out on the UIC show. We are sugar high. Ring that bell. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, as you can tell by our many failed attempts of that hook, uh, we are still very much, this is the same day of filming, uh, and we are still very much feeling the effects of eating 16 candies. Um, so we're down to our final eight, and we're just going to power on through. And I'm sure if you've ever, if you're a youth pastor, you know the feeling of running on candy uh, energy uh, for a late a night. Lock in. Oh yeah, for a late night lock-in or some late night like uh, broom, broom ball, ball event, <laughs> and you're just like running on candy energy. That's us right now. So uh, prepare for a good time. Uh, our first round of the Elite Eight is going to be our number one seed Kit Kat against our number four seed Snickers. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, show the graphic. Wait, 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 wait. Was it the S? That was. That picked it up. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't very satisfying. It was a little I was because happy that because it Snickers are satisfying. That's mm. true. That's right. Jesus, that the, the pop rock sound really got an picked e. up. He got an E. Ooh, oh. much better. Much better. Okay. He had a double snap too. All right. Cool. Well, uh, did you guys taste any of them yet? Yeah. I'm ready. You got to savor. We're down to our last carrot. I'm already right. ready. Let's I'm ready. Let's see our decision. I got it. Three, two, one. Snickers. Wow, Kit Kat. What? Wow. Yeah, Kit Kat. Jesse, you got. Oh, I thought you were gonna say one. Kit Kat. Oh, sorry. Wow. I don't know if I'm I have a, if I can take any more sugar, but uh, Jesse, you're our tiebreaker. Okay. Uh, you're going to try a Kit Kat and a Snicker, and you're going to uh, definitively tell us. So, uh, let's objectively, get candy here. it's great. Good, it's great flavor. Good word. Good crunch with the <laughs> with the peanuts, and it's like a party in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's, a sa it's actually satisfying. It satisfies the hunger. The commercials are telling the truth. It is very true. See that light crispy wafer? Oh yeah, it just never grows old. There's you a have reason. it anytime. Even when you're a little, even when you're hungry, you always have room for a Kit Kat. Like if I'm hungry, See, I even when that. I'm hungry, you mean even when I'm full? When I'm full. <laughs> yeah, when I'm full. Even when I'm hungry, it was man. sounding so good. Like he sounded know, so coherent, yeah. and yeah. I was like clinging onto every word. And I was like, wait, yeah. that doesn't make sense. So <laughs> it's just sugar high. Like most of the debates, <laughs> <laughs> incoherent, nonsensical, illogical. Even if I'm full, I can go for the light crispiness of True. this. So, uh, I think we have it's a, a clear winner for me. Oh. I think it's Kit Kat. Oh. Kit Kat, be Kit Kat is moving on to our final four. All right. Kit Kat. All right, here we are in our next round where we are going to see our number three seed, Twix, go up against our number seven seed, the Chocolate Cinderella Whoppers. I will try to clear my mind again. These are Brent's two favorite candies. With a malt ball. It's going to be tough. I'm just glad there's no Almond Joy. Okay. Well, see, what you got to do, Chris, is you, so you bite down, and then before you take the second bite, so you take one bite to break in half, and then you rest the malts on your tongue, and then let it melt. But he doesn't like malt flavor. I don't like the malt flavor. That's the part that he hates. That, well, I wouldn't say hate, but... It's I, not even much of a strong I flavor. Don't it's don't like... Just, it's more yeah, it's not strong, flavor. but it's just like... So you also don't like malt chocolate, like, uh, like chocolate malts, like you'd have a milkshake over a malt. Oh, yeah, milkshake So I would time. do a malt mm. every day. Yeah. All right, well, let's go hear what we think is the better, superior candy between Twix and Whoppers in three, two, one. I'm going to say Twix. Twix. Oh. Twix? Oh, All right, Twix. cool. They, when you get a left one, it's really progressive, you know, the taste on it. <laughs> I should have probably tried them at the same time to get a balanced approach. <laughs> the, <laughs> I got it. Oh, man. All right, well, I, I guess we're moving. Yeah. You notice the, the crash from the sugar high at the beginning of the filming to now it's just us going. At candy. The, at the end, we're gonna be like, mm, candy good. Mm, good. <laughs> All right, let's show the show the graphic. We're going to the non-chocolate non category. <laughs> non -chocolate the next category. 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 <laughs> okay, so now, uh, 
I still can't believe our number one seed is not here. We have Hot Tamales going up against our number four seed, Laffy Taffy. It would be great to see Hot Tamales continue to progress through this challenge. We will find out. That would truly be a Cinderella story. I, thought it was I still haven't tried a hot tamale today, and I refuse to. I Why? thought it was just green. Apple. I don't know. You just don't like hot tamales. I don't. All right. I mean, I guess I'll. I'll, I'll it's like, it's like I'm Jesse not liking again. hot chips on the West Coast. That's true. Hot it's, chips. It's not that I don't like them. I'm just like they're overrated, overhyped. Dude, banana. It's so good. How do you not like banana? Right, in the taffy? comments below, please let us know how you feel about banana laffy taffy. Like that is very surprising. Let's start. Please a help Chris with. and Jesse understand. These are disgusting. Uh, it's so surprising. Right, they so should be removed Brent from and all Laffy Taffy. Realize that they are the most superior of all taffies. Here's my joke. What is a school of peas? A pod. A pea pod. <laughs> <laughs> what? Laffy Taffy zero. <laughs> zero what, are, what, what, what am I going against this with? What? Uh, hot tamale. This is an interesting uh, matchup. Matchup here. I think everything against hot tamales well, yeah. is interesting because yeah. they're yeah. so unique. It's so unique. All right. All right. I'm we good. got a verdict. Yep. All right. Well, let's hear what you like better between. Hot tamale and Laffy Taffy. That took a while for me to read. Yeah. In three, <laughs> and two, it. one. Movies. Hot tamale. Hot tamales. Hot tamales. I, Dude, I, under I, taking a Cinderella run. run. Underdogs. Here's right. going Thanks. to the dance. When I looked at it, I was like, no way hot tamale is going to – I don't even know if it's going to be candy corn. But tasting it, I have wiped my mind. I would have said Laffy Taffy, yeah. but – Get one in my mouth. I, I think right, I need – I need. yep, I'm ready. Sorry, that was a bad throw. And he made it. Oh, man, I'm smelling it right here. See, it's, it's, got, a, it's got a good. smell. It's a really solid candy. It's a solid candy. Man, it's moving up my list today. I'll share my review after uh, our next round. I think, round. It's, I think it's, it's moved itself back into my top five. All right, uh, the last round of our Elite Eight, we have our Sour Patch Kids going up against Pop Rocks. You guys go ahead and try those while I finish the rest of this hot tomorrow. It It's hot. It is hot, and it's yummy. It's great flavor. So it's burning, if, and it's not a tamale. If we've learned anything from our chip episode, <laughs> it's that Brent and I like hot stuff. You know what? Whoa. I didn't even think about that. It's a solid flavor. Hot tamales is going to win, then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to win, but we'll It's find definitely out. an underdog story, and I could see it beating Sour Patch Kids and Pop Rocks. I can't believe I'm saying this. Maybe it's been such a long time since I've had one, but right? Pretty it's good. really good. Right? Like that chewy, like that hard mm. chewy candy, like that Swedish fish. And then you texture. get the tamale. It's mm -hmm. like it's not the thing at the store you go to buy, but it's the thing that when you're at the store and you see it and you try it and you're like, oh, I'm happy I got it. Wow, I Dude, did not expect myself to like that. This is cool. Oh, and here comes the ASMR. And <laughs> Jesse's eating it. <laughs> I, I want to take off my headphones. Is this really like? It's not fair. It's always just it, pop rocks are just so fun. It's always fun. <laughs> They're more fun. Like, are they more fun than Sour Patch Kids? Like, they're never not fun. Sour Patch Kids are depressing. Yeah. Sour Patch Kids look like kids. Yeah, they're just depressing little kids. <laughs> they're all alone, and they're about to be eaten. And they're all sour and mean. <laughs> but they're first they're sour, then, then they're, they're sweet. sweet. Sour Patch Kids, sour, sweet. You got to get to know them. Yeah. Just like youth group kids. Just like youth group kids. There you go. That's our <laughs> illustration. Sometimes your kids might start out a little sour, but the more time you spend with them, they're you really find out they're the sweeter you realize they are. Parts of gold. They're still sour. They're sweet at youth group. They're sour once they go back to their families. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Okay. This is way too clear for me. All, All right. right. Wow. Let's go hear our verdict in Crystal. three, two, one. Pop rocks. <laughs> Pop rocks. <laughs> nice one, Chris. All <laughs> right. Ever expected. I would have never. Pop rocks. Our number seven and eight have beaten everything yeah. on our not chocolate category. I'm a little disappointed by the gummy bears not being there, but Pop Rocks, you're moving on. We're going to need some some staff people to be on here to represent their votes yeah. next time. I think even with a Haribo, the face. even with a Haribo, I probably would have picked that tamale. All right, let's begin our final four with our last two chocolates of this category mm -hmm. of the number one seed, still staying in strong of Kit Kat going up against the number three seed, Twix. All right. What are your first thoughts? My first thoughts are I think I know what Brent's going to pick even before he tastes it. I am uh, predestined. I, en I enjoy them both, but I enjoy layers. And so the depth of Kit Kat is already more shallow than the depth of a, of a, of a Twix. So that's just my precursor analysis. 
We've got one versus three on one side. We've got seven versus eight on the other side. Have you had the other flavors of Kit Kats? Have you had the dark chocolate Kit Kats? Yes. Dark chocolate Kit Kats. If that was dark bomb. chocolate, this would be more difficult. Have you me. had the matcha green tea Kit Kats? No. Yes. Negative. Yes, those are good too. Those are amazing. You guys got to try that. White chocolate Kit Kat. Yes. I've had that as well. I enjoy Very that good. as well. Those are good. So, how are we feeling? Are we ready to make a decision? Feeling good. It's a strong round. Still yep. don't know if I uh, if I know what I'm gonna pick here. It's a tough one. It's a very tough one. Could go either way. Could go either way easily. Brent and it. someone's phone is letting it's us time know. Off. I'm time off. Time's up. Time is up. So we need a decision in three, two, one. Kit Kat. Yeah. No Twix. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Who did the last one? Twix Cat. Was that you, Jesse? That did the last one. That is true. All right. I guess I'll take this one. I'd Bring be okay a, putting them together. I haven't had a Twix yet today, so I'll get a All Kit right. Kat and a Twix. Oh, I could hear the crunch of the cookie. I could hear it. All right. I haven't had a Twix in a long time. All right. But well, have you had a Kit Kat in a long time? Layers. An hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> layers. Uh oh. I don't know how long these episodes are going to end up, but we've been filming for like three hours. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> We're going crazy here. We've been having candy for three hours straight. Our sugar's going up and going down. And going yeah. up and going down. I don't know what is left or right and what is up or down anymore. <laughs> everything's a mess and everything's confusing because uh, uh, I, I cringed at the sight of this. I, I, oh, I, 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 I At the very sight of Twix, I was like, ew, gross, get that away from me. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm saying this. Maybe it has to do with the size of this Kit Kat, but I think Brent is right. I have to go with Twix. Wow. Like, I, I hate to... – I have always hated Twix. I've always left it at the bottom of every huge surprising. pile of candy. But and I always come I, and take it when they're at the bottom of that pile. I don't know what it is, but it's – maybe we're all just sugar messed up in the head. But Twix, you're moving on to the championship yeah. wow. round, buddy. Wow. wow. That's, That's surprising. Mm. All right, here we are, our final two in the non-chocolate candy gory. We have – the surprise underdogs of hot tamales <laughs> against number seven pop rocks. All right. Just go for it. Just do your thing. Or you can do them at the same time if you want. I'm kind of thinking I might try it. At this point, what what I'm rules matter? It. I'm going for both at the same time. Oh, Brent, wow! That was okay. some great that sound was, there, that was, Brent. That was some That's good strawberry. Pop. Brent, I'm going for both at the same time. You're not gonna taste nothing. If I explode. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell my wife I love her. We need soda. <laughs> For some reason, that was like a myth, I believe, when I was younger, that if you combine like Pop Rocks and soda oh. in your mouth, that it would like blow your head up. It, it wasn't a myth. That was an urban legend. It was an urban legend that people tried many a time. That was a very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did not work out well. Do we have a verdict or do we need more time? No way. Need uh, more yeah. time. All right, more time it is. Insert the uh, time swipe. We're going on taste alone here, right? I don't know. I think candy is more than just a taste. I think it's an experience. It's hard to say, though. I know. It's true. Speaking of experiences, this is not a good one. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is fun to you. Because this makes you think you're watching a movie. Yeah, but Pop Rocks has been fun just because there's not a lot of substance to it. It's, it's just all fun. Yeah. So I think I know what I'm going to do. And they're made in Spain. Fun fact. <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> and smell like chemicals. <laughs> I like how everything that we've said about them have been just like these weird facts, yet we just keep moving them on. And they keep going forward because they're amazingly fun. These smell really bad. They win this round. (laughs) I would would never put something that smelled like that in my mouth, except for Pop Rocks. Well, do you have your verdicts? It's like fast food in America. Exactly. (laughs) Amen. All right. I need to hear your answer in three, two, one. Hot tamale. Pop Rocks. No, really? You point yeah. at the hot tamale. Do you point at the pop rock and say hot tamale? Yeah, I was, tr- I was trying to mess with Chris. Got it. I I had to go. Pop Jesse, rock. you're gonna have to do this one, man. All right, let's do it. All right, Jesse, you got them both in front of you. How are we liking those? He pop started rocks? with the fun one. Start. You gotta start they are one. so fun, and like Brent was saying, you can keep having them because there's not really a lot of substance yeah. to them because they're all chemicals. <laughs> all right. I think just for the fact that it brings me back to my childhood, I'm have to go hot tamale. Okay. All right. There wow. we go. Number eight seed is no. moving on. Oh yeah, that's right. It's Number the champ. Eight. A wild card it round. It had to win the wild card. And it round. almost didn't win the wild it card didn't. round. It was a toss up in the wild. That was card insane. Round. Well, here we are. You guys ready? Let's get going with our. I am sugar high. Championship round. <laughs> 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 Explosion! Boom! 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 boom. <laughs> edit in, edit in gun sound effects. Bang, bang, bang. Lasers! Edit in explosions. 
Edit in some other random sound. Unicorn Kitty Cat Sharks. <laughs> So I started gifts. blasting. Doing we're, some memes. We're so lost. We are done. <laughs> my life, my job's gonna. I just made my job so much more difficult for next week. All right, here we are in the championship round. We are still extremely um, sugar messed up in the head, um, but we're gonna power through this. We have hot tamales going up against Twix, a number three seed against a number eight seed. Cinderella's either way. Um, what are you trying first? I don't know. How many days have we been recording now? Is this uh, this has been four? the eighth. Eighth. <laughs> we haven't day changed eight. our clothes. <laughs> we haven't brushed our teeth or a, taken a shower. It's been a long ordeal. <laughs> our wives are wondering where we are. <laughs> so you cannot leave until you come up with a champion. I'm going with Twix. Uh, yeah, go with the Twix. I, you got to go with Twix just because the hot tamale, the flavor is... It'll mess, with, it'll mess with your taste buds. You need to palate cleanse I, between this. I know. I really... And I don't... Tri- Chris, Chris, is, Chris is eating of carrot. Twit, 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 twit. Twit, 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 twit. Cut to Jamel and the head explosion. Twit, 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 twit. Chris said he wasn't going to eat a carrot all day, but I think he's gotten to a point where he needs some sustenance. Have, well, no, I have to. He needs something to cleanse one. the palate. This is just so different. That's what I'm saying. We, we need a... You gotta hear it. This is it. Cue the dramatic music. Chris and Brent, I need to hear your win. I sounded like I was doing a Christopher Walken impression. <laughs> um, Chris and Brent, we need your winner for the 2020 more cowbell. UIC show. I gotta, I gotta have more cowbell. Candy champion in three, two, one. Carrot. Twix. <laughs> hot tamale. Oh, no. What? I'm picking yes. hot tamale. Yes. No way. Who's breaking this? I I have not Jamal's had a hot already, tamale in a long a time. Jamal's doing it. And I'm regretting it. Dude, These I want. I, already, good. I know what I want, but I just want to hear what you're going to do. Who's hot tamale? Is it really up to me? Am I, is it my turn? It is. I think both of you guys need to do it. But what if they split? Well, we'll just have to oh, see. Oh, we'll come to a discussion, and then we'll make a final decision together. All right, here we are. Jesse and I, we're going to try them both, and we're going to deliberate. Uh, yeah, I have a left. And I have a right. All right, dink it. Very fitting. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is bipartisan. Yep. The left <laughs> and the right working together. There you go. I like it. So it's up to you guys to figure out what the best candy is objectively. Is this the regular flavor? Yeah. Fierce okay. cinnamon? Yeah. There's yep. only one flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Fierce cinnamon. It looks like it's like a different variation. It just, it just looks repackaged. I think they repackaged. Oh. Unhot tamale. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, now Jesse, we gotta deliberate. Okay. Candy. I want something that can keep eating, and I constantly want more. I just can't stop putting these. I can hear you. Jesse was a football coach for the other team, but no, all of them. Jesse, I can't stop. So a hail mary it is. The mic's right here. Uh, Jomel, I just can't stop eating this. <laughs> you didn't hear any of that. <laughs> After some private deliberation. Yeah. <laughs> with, with, a, with a terrible whisperer. <laughs> I've been told that my whole life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the storyline of storylines, the plot twist of ages, the 2020 candy of UIC is officially... Decided by three out of the four staff, hot tamales is the winner. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have a staff. We have to clean this. <laughs> we'll make the interns do it. We don't have any other interns. We're hiring. <laughs> <laughs> the interns are not in the office. Who's the, new, who's the newest hire? Uh, Jamel. Kevin. <laughs> no, Kevin. In the room. In the room. You. <laughs> We're going, Kevin. Kevin, we have hey, a special, yeah, we have special. A special assignment for you. And if you see this before we talk to you, you know what. Yeah, if you see this, that means that the candy is still here. <laughs> it's been two weeks of editing, but it's still here for you, buddy. Well, that was a strange episode. That I was would a say. huge twist. There have been some episodes that took a lot out of me, but I don't think any episode was more physically demanding, <laughs> than emotionally, the mentally, and spiritually demanding. <laughs> spiritually. <laughs> so much discernment. More and physically demanding. More than the theologian draft. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, the theologian draft, I was just picking popular names. <laughs> and then you won. <laughs> I had to pray over this one. <laughs> I had to pray for strength to get me through oh, this whole thing. Wow. This was rough. Oh, Woo. my goodness. That was fun. What a bracket. What a strange, strange turn of events. I'm going to bring the spiritual, but first I'm going to say something else. When I when I saw this <laughs> list, I had no hope for the hot tamale. I've, I've liked it in the past, but when you stack it up against these other ones, you're like, nope. Yeah, I'm just like, wow, that's good. But here's the thing. How are you okay? making this spiritual? <laughs> now, here's what the Bible says. Uh, God looks at the heart. I know Brent and I have talked about this. Sometimes in ministry, we see people and we're like, oh, that guy's going to last. He's going to be in ministry for so mm-hmm. long. He's going to do it all. And then they flame out, burn out, moral failure, whatever. Sure. But but God knows, you know, what's going on and, and who he has called to, yeah. to serve him. And, you know, we, we might think, oh, hot tamale, psh, yeah, it's in the wild card round. It's not even going to make it. And we might think <laughs> that of ministers, but, you know, God looks at the heart. And Amen. You're not a, wrong. What a, cra- I, what you a crazy give bracket. It, you got to give the heart a chance. You that know, was a I, great analogy. I went into it not thinking hot tamales had a chance. And I, you know, I, I went in unbiased and I said, wow. This guy has a lot to bring to the table. Jesse, do you know what I say when I talk about kids that I've thought were going to make it? Do you remember that saying that I've said a couple times? I always bet on the wrong, yes. horse. on the wrong horses. Mm-hmm. And, exactly. and I, I, was tol- I was totally thinking that like, like as, as we were finishing this and as you guys were like, being persuaded by Jesse over there. Like, I was, <laughs> As I was, you guys yeah. were being persuaded by Jesse. <laughs> Who else? Ev- me and everyone else I here. I was persuaded by myself. Kevin. <laughs> it was Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. But as that was happening, I was totally thinking about that and didn't even looking at the, at the list and thinking, like, when I was picking up candy at the store, in my head, I was thinking, this is going to win. Which one would go to this? Which one would go to this? Whatever. But that, that thing rings true. Like, you know, I think sometimes in ministry, like how many of us haven't done that, right? You know, a, a kid comes or he's even a part of your youth group for a while. And you just assume that since you've been pouring into him, discipling him, oh, he's going to be the leader of the youth group. And then something happens and he's no longer walking with God. Like I was watching, um, I was watching p- uh, people's stories the other day on, um, uh, on Insta and, and it broke my heart. Like I almost started to cry. Um, my, my wife was in the other room and I was just flipping through store, you know, stores are just coming by, coming by, coming by. And then there was a kid from youth group from uh, a couple of years ago. It's been, it's been 18 months. Right. Um, and, and I just was looking at what's going on and my heart was broken because I was like, I would have never thought that my student would have been there like within 18 months. You know, I know yeah. COVID has been rough. I know families got, got issues and stuff, but um, it's just hard, you know? And, and so think about it like youth pastors, as you're watching your kids, um, like you can learn so much, like you might not be face to face discipling, but you can almost watch what your kids post every single day and kind of understand the condition of their hearts. And either they're portraying some sort of front that they want people to think that things are okay, or they're, they're actually posting negative stuff that you can see the direction of their life changing from, from where their heart was soft. And that looks like it's getting harder. Oh. Um, and so anyway, just a little challenge you guys on a, on a silly bracket of candy. But it's one of those things that I think that sometimes uh, it's just really hard. And then I even got a phone call in the last couple of weeks from somebody else that wanted to be working with me in youth group. And if you had asked me four or five years ago, I'd have been like, this is the last kid that's ever going to make it or be working with me in youth group. He was the hot tamale. Give you youth he group. was the hot tamale and still is, you know, and so <laughs> he was the hot tamale of the I, young adults group. I was just going to say, like, on the flip side to that first point you made where sometimes your number one seeds um, aren't always don't always pan out, you know, who what you expect them to be. Um, you know, I'd say as youth leaders, I've started thinking right now of some of the hot tamales in my youth group. I was like the kids that, you know, you really just, and the, the scary thing is when you don't invest in those kids. Right. And I think it's a good reminder for everyone in youth mm. ministry is uh, invest in your hot tamales, uh, invest in that kid who might be a little rough around the edges. Uh, might, you might have to remind a few more times than the others to behave differently. Uh, cause you, you, you never know. They never know when they might just show up and surprise you. Um, you know, take down a gummy bear, which by the way, <laughs> if we got the right gummy bears and the it blocks have been didn't a change. melt, this whole right. thing could have been completely different, but True. just like in real life, you know, there are different circumstances. You, gotta do what you know, you, you could do. say, right. you could say the same thing about your gummy bear kids, right? But you know, if only this <laughs> hadn't happened, um, but Hey, That's you true. know, circumstances are up to the Lord. You know, uh, the melted, the melted gummy bears. That's, you know, that's ministry. That could have been that's divine. Right. <laughs> so good. Good point. Oh, man. I can't Amen. believe that we're sitting here talking about hot tamales. We really winning. highly spiritualized this more than I was expecting. It was good, though. It's really a good, good. Anal- yeah. great analogy. It is.
Invest in your hot tamales. There you go. That's Amen. all I got to say. Yeah. You guys want to wrap? Oh, and, and youth pastors. Uh, yeah, if you're thinking of a candy to buy, swing by your local what Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree and pick up some hot, tamales. some hot tamales. Now you might be, be thinking right now. Surprised. Yeah, you might be thinking right now, like I'm not gonna buy that. No kids in my group are gonna are gonna do it. Taste and see. Go to the store, get some, try it, and and you'll be. I, I came in with the same thing. Taste and see that the candy is good. You'll be surprised. Chris, Brent, yep. feel free to close us out. Amen. Hey, yeah, hey, just thank you for watching the USC show. I know this has been a little bit uh, unique. You know, silly. we were trying to do yeah some silly and some stuff towards uh, leading towards harvest and. Regardless of what your church does believe about harvest festivals, um, hallelujah festivals, hollow, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is that your church does to support and to help the community and kids, just realize that that kids are in desperate need of love, attention, connection, and Jesus. And so figure out a way, figure out a way to, to change up ministry a little bit, do something a little bit fun, maybe even do something like this. And we invite you, if you want to even shoot something like this of your own youth group here, we'd be welcoming your youth group to be able to come and to do one of our shows on the UIC show. I think they can be really fun. Amen. So, Like and subscribe. Make sure you uh, email us at uh, podcast at uic.org. You can check out our website, uic.org. We're so glad you're here. Share it with a friend, and we will see you next episode. Bread. Have a great day. Really wouldn't have expected this. I am inspired. <laughs> Looking at this, I would have gone for gummy bears. I, oh yeah, we get all the way. You bought the wrong ones. I, I bought what was there, guys. I'm sorry. I nope. Think I got gummy worms just in case. I'm not so surprised when chocolate. I, sh- I probably should have checked in the in the Halloween section. For